president. Wait, I'm speaking, man. Wait. Wait. Why have you been rude like that? And you have been rude for too long, man. I'm speaking. Yes, sir. Hello, ladies. Yeah. That's Julius Malema from South Africa. Proceed, Honorable uh, Malema. Thank you very much. I, I don't think there is any uh, difficulty here. We must all be inspired by the need to build this institution and not be driven by a desire to govern this institution from the grave. You are here to give a report, and that report will, that report will tell us as to what really transpired. We cannot, even before we get a report of where are we, where do we come from, what happened before, then be told that people must be dissolved without being taken through as to what transpired. The report you are about to present will tell us about the state of the Bureau. And on the basis of that report, then take a decision that you must all step down. So even if the term ended in, on the 9th of May, that is just being technical and, and, and being in an attempt to collapse these proceedings, mm -hmm. which is uncalled for. So the Bureau's term has ended. We are going to elect the new leadership. What is this impatience about? Yeah, He's acting. He never claimed to be a president of this institution. That's why he calls himself an acting president. He accepts that he's not the president of this institution. So we are not, we are not, going, to be, we are not going to be bullied here by people who, are, who want to run this institution from the grave. Give the report. And after giving the report, outline what's going to happen to the election. The elections are going to happen. Whether they get dissolved now, whether they get dissolved on Monday, it's immaterial. We are going to elect new leadership here. Let them report. Thank you, Chair. I see an interest. Honorable Roger, can you allow others also to take the floor? He's not going to speak. You are not going to speak alone here, Roger. You are not going to do that. This is not your parliament. You are not going to Roger, do that. Roger, you don't make yourself a parliament. Uh, uh, Mr. President. You have your chance. Thank you very much for the opportunity. You see? Sorry, order, 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 order. It is, it is sad. It is very sad what we are doing to ourselves. It's very, very sad. Why am I saying this? Did our rules anticipate COVID? Did our, our rules anticipate that there could be a disaster that could hit the whole world? Mm -hmm. and bring the whole world to a, grand, uh, to a standstill. Mm. In every civilized society and every parliament, mm. pap not exception, when you find yourself in this situation, the person who is president uses his discretion to make sure that the institution, institution keeps moving. If you say this is contrary, I want those who are saying the current bureau or acting bureau should be dissolved so that we have a vacuum to refer us to our rules. That says that when this happens, have a blank and let the staff take over. We don't have anything like that in our rules. And I'll, I'll be very happy to be guided. Yes, term expires, but it expires because of COVID. I, why are you using nose marks? Take your nose marks out. Because of COVID. That is why you are using nose marks. Please, we have come this far. Like Honorable Malema said, we have an activity report. Let's allow the activity report to be read to tell us why we are where we are and where we want to go. Let no people who are very, very soon abusing our rules all of a sudden wake up to be making reference to the rules. Let them not do that. This is, we are, we are sons and daughters of Africa. And let's allow cool heads to prevail. You break the rule where it suits you. I don't see any rule being broken. The simple reason is that for one year, all of us couldn't be here. 
because of this pandemic. Yeah, exactly. Let's allow the activity report to be read and let us be told how this interim arrangement is being put. If we are all not satisfied with it, we'll take a collective decision. But let no anybody try to hijack the process. Let the process proceed. Thank you very much. I think we need to make progress. Yes. We need to make progress. No, 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 President. We need to make progress. Okay, babe, if you have a useful idea that can help us, I grant you the floor. Proceed. If you have some useful ideas which are better, help us. President. But why are you shouting? Are you saying she shouldn't take the floor? Why are you saying she should take the floor? She has the floor. Why are you shouting? Monsieur le Président. Honorable President, we are here representing our respective countries and representing Africa. I get the impression that the Parliament is South Africa. A parliamentarian from South Africa saying that we should move forward. We did not hear, come here to go for a walks. We are here to follow our rules of procedure, and I support what Honorable Nkodo has said. If you are not meant to be sitting in the bureau, you need to resign. We are here. We've defined the rules, and we are going to elect those who are going to continue with leading the Pan-African Parliament. It's not just for South Africa, it's for the entire continent, North, West, Central Africa, Eastern Africa, Southern Africa. But then there's a group of people that want to grab the Pan-African Parliament for themselves. And that is why I was asking for the floor. I come from West Africa and I am supporting the candidacy of our West African candidate. Thank you. <laughs> Honorable President, could I please have the floor? Could I please have the floor? On a, on a point of order, uh, Chair, I'm, I'm here. Yes. There, there's no ruling that says we are going to ask questions. We are debating the report. And if people have got nothing to say on the debate, they must keep quiet. No one is going to ask any teacher questions here. We are parliamentarians. We are, asked, we are debating the report. And that's what we are doing here. And uh, the honorable member on the floor is in order. Thank you. Thank you. Honorable Malema. Thank you, uh, honorable speaker. The, the, I think we need to stick to the issue of time, mm. that no one should be given more time irrespective of uh, who they were. We must agree first that the principle of rotation is not a principle of sharing power, that certain people think that they must have power over others. The principle of rotation is to unite the continent. And if we are concerned about the unity of the continent, then we will not have a problem about the principle of rotation. We must first understand its purpose. And if you have a problem with the type of a candidature that Southern Africa is presenting, for instance, you will rather say we agree with the rotation and therefore will suggest that the North must take it. Let the debate be about which regions have not received and which region will you support. Not that the regions who have never received must wait for some ratification to apply a principle that seeks to unite the continent. The forefathers who came before us wanted to eliminate unnecessary contestation amongst Africans by coming up with these democratic principles which will cover all the regions. Mm. If you are concerned about the unity of this continent and you are not serving the interest of the imperialist and colonialist, you will never have a difficulty on application of a principle that will unite Africans. Yes. And that's what this body is about. Yes. So it is so embarrassing that former leaders of this institution can do everything in their power to divide this institution 
and to undermine the legitimacy of this institution. You can use your majority and keep this power and this presidency in your regions. And if that is the unity of Africa you are talking about, that power must only circulate in your regions, yeah. go on with it. But be aware that you are serving the interest of imperialism that seeks to keep us divided. The unity of this continent will not wait for ratification of anything. Yes. The unity of this continent needs us to apply it as in yesterday. Yes. We don't require any ratification of anything for us to be united. And anyone who says we require ratification, that person doesn't know what unity is about. Unity is about us coming together with a paper or no paper. When you see an African saying, this is what will unite us. Point of thank you, order. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mr. President. Please, Mr. Please, President. Please, 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 please. That people seem to be pulling the cover towards them. And this should not be the case. We need to unite all African countries so that we speak with one voice. We do not need to talk about West Africa, North Africa, Southern Africa. We need to talk about Africa as a whole. It is the reason why we have been mobilized. In my opinion, we need to understand each other on this. Rotation is not uh, uh, relevant uh, for this election. Rotation is not relevant. There are even countries that have not ratified the protocol. Uh, once countries have all agreed and ratified, point of order, point of order, point of order, like point of order. What is your point of order on which rules? My, my point of order is everything. If you make a point of order, everything, it based on everything is relevant no, to please, us to please, discuss. No, please, 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 please. If you cannot answer the question on which rules. On the basis of which rule are you making your point of order? There must be a reason. Your point of order is not to start a debate. It is to either somebody who is speaking is saying somebody, something incorrect, you want to correct, or something is wrong. But you can just start point of order and then you start debating. When are we going to finish here? Please. Monsieur, Monsieur le Président. Honorable President, I believe that I have the floor. If you make a point of order, you must base it on a rule. If not, I give you no floor. Please continue on level. Continue on level. I was saying, Honorable President, that I have been listening to sterile debates that are not making us advance. Our mission is not uh, to come here and have useless deliberations that have no meaning. And th this is the case when we're talking about the chairpersonship of uh, this session. Who would have chaired the session if it's not uh, the outgoing president? Let's be clear and honest. The president continues until he's replaced. And we took oath before him. We accepted to do this. So why did we feel we should not continue having deliberations with him and create problems unnecessarily? Let's stop this. Let's stop this. Let me continue. Point of order. Point of order. I'll continue with my remarks. It is clearly stated. It is clearly stated. Point of order, says uh, the Honorable uh, Member of Parliament. It is clearly said that the President chairs all sessions, and that is sorted out. I listened to the activity report. Honorable President, I listened to the activity reports being presented. 
In this report, point of order, point of order. What is your po point of order? Before we took the floor, we were told to stay within the context of the report. Every time I... On which rule? Uh, on which rule is he rising? On which rule? I'm talking about the report. There is no rule that said so. Honorable President, you said that we should only focus on the activity reports and we should not have discussions outside the report. For some people, you call them to order, and for others, you do not. You need to manage these deliberations with equity. So it is only one person. What is going to... Honorable Alderamo Sawatome, are you... Yes, Honorable Che. Yes. In all fairness, I have submitted my name before a speaker. She was behind me, the lady from Egypt. You have not recognized me. I do not know whether I'm on that list. Why has my name been omitted while I submitted before her? I have a right to be heard, Che. Thank you very much, Chair. Honorable, Honorable Chair. Honorable Chair. Honorable Chair. Wait, wait. You had all the day today. Honorable Chair, when members are speaking here, with all their experiences, we should always respect one another. Respect is very fundamental to the growth of any organization globally and here at home. A young Advocate was talking about her experience as an advocate. Honorable Chair, I am a, a leader of opposition of a country who has experience in conflict. No leader can argue that a rule must first be adopted for it to be implemented. No person can argue that something good no person can argue that something good must first be enacted as a law before it is implemented as a good practice and a good policy. The very fundamental reason why the African Union since its inception speaks of rotational leadership is to avoid the conflict that we are heading to. There is a big problem in this report. The biggest problem is there is this unity within the Pan-African Parliament. A disunity between the Western Caucasus and especially led by languages, the Francophonie, the Anglophonie, are the biggest problems. And if we, have, if we are not harmonizing those two groups, there won't be unity. And I want to put it to the conscience of my brothers from West and sisters from Western Africa, and especially the Francophonie. You are using the tyranny of numbers. To consistently lead, yes, you are using the tyranny of numbers. You are using the tyranny of numbers. Monsieur le Président, c'est pas correct. C'est pas correct. You insist. Monsieur le Président, Honorable President, this is not correct. This is not normal. This shouldn't be allowed. Honorable President, Honorable President, Honorable President, point of order, point of order, point of order. Trying. This is not true. Ooh, when it's them, you let them go ahead. If we want to have peace, if we want to have unity, we must have a principle of rotation. It can't be you all the time. It can't be you all the time and think that unity will come. I speak to your conscience, bring your conscience and make sure no, no, that give no, no, others no. a chance to lead the African Union too. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable. Thank you. Sure. I'm not a liar, and I wanted to ask the members who, re 
who will say that I'm a liar to please withdraw their words. I am not a liar. I am not a liar. Withdraw what you stated. Don't agree that you call me a liar. I do not accept that term. He is the one who is lying. I am not a liar. Please, please. 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 please sit down. Please, please, honorable. Honorable, please, can you withdraw what you have said? Sir Oz, please, please, oh no. Esper de Conar. Honorable, please. In a casino, if you have. In a. Honorable, please. Please. Hello. Hello. Please, please take your seats, please. Yeah, but the discipline is here. There is no discipline here. If we, we should not insult each other here. Please, 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 Honorable, that was very unparliamentary. Please, can you apologize? Withdraw it. Please, 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 honorable. honorable. Please, no, I'm not giving you the floor. I'm honorable. talking to him. Please, lady, please. Honorable, sit down. Oh, no, I'm not giving you the floor. Let no, some see Let me finish. No, I'm. Point of order, point of order, Mr. President. Honorable, please withdraw and apologize. Please, honorable. No, 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 no. But, Chair, let's not be abused here. Honorable. Honorable. Please. Honorable. She must be no, no, no. You should not allow demons here in this in this house. You cannot, you cannot. Point of order, Mr. Point Mr. Order. Chairman. Honestly, we cannot. Yes, yes, we. Can. Hey, this woman is abusing her. This, this is abuse. The police and take her out. Please, please, chair, what, what member. Other? Honorable Chair, please. I, I think it's a matter of language. Honorable. It's a matter of language. I please. Say, I just said, don't please. Lie, but I. Honorable, withdraw and apologize, please. I have withdrawn. Apologize to her. No. I, to, 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 to what? In our language, it's not an insult. <laughs> I, I, I think this needs interpretation because I didn't insult her. I, I never insulted my sister here, no. I just said an opinion, but I never insulted her. I have no intention to insult her. Monsieur le Président. Mr. President, I, am, I was saying that I was very well raised. I was a girl born in a family that's respectable and that he needs to show me respect. I'm a country, I'm from a country called Burkina Faso, the place of the upright people. I am not a street child. I am not a street kid. There was a, a situation where members were unruly. They stand up and shout. And uh, she stand up to shout. And you seem to be helpless. You don't know what to do. Because we can do the same thing. They must never think we're scared of them. We can do the same thing. And if you're going to allow that, 
Monsieur if you are going to allow that and you don't have a way of dealing with it, when the, I'm speaking, man, wait. Wait. Why have you been rude like that and you have been rude for too long, man? I'm speaking. Yes, sirs. Please. Please. Don't allow this nonsense to continue because no, we will not be please, abused please. like that. Honorable, please, please. Don't speak like that. Please. Don't allow this to continue because we will not be treated like that. Please. This is not their parliament. It belongs to all of us. They stand up here without yeah, recognizing pardon, you please. and you allow them. Please, yeah, please control the house. Yeah, they, must pardon, never pardon, think they, they must never think they are the only ones who can do this oh, nonsense. Please. We can, we can, can give it to them twice. Please. Motion d'ordre, Président. Motion d'ordre. Président, motion d'ordre. Pardon, menace. Honorable Chair. Honorable Chair. Pardon, menace. Continue. Honorable. Why? Continue. Pardon, menace. I'm not threatening anyone. No. Chair, point of order. I've been raising my hand for so long. I have the right to take point of order. What? On this, based on what? Oh, on the situation Th where you. we are now. Thank you. Is this in order? Thank what you. is happening in this house? Leave me to deal with it. But Leave me to deal with it. But, but we can't listen what Don't is happening here. Don't compound the problem. Just sit down. Leave me to do it. That is my job. I have but the please, right to take bond of order. Please. You, and you need to talk to people to the same, to the same and equal. Why are you giving people some... I'm not giving anybody anything extra. No, 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 please. please. You have to please respect everybody. Down. Sit down. Respect everybody. Please sit down. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel for more.